Hey guys, my name is Zach and this is GG Fistbump. Today I'll be showing you how to install a M.2 SSD with heatsink on the PS5 Slim. But first, roll the intro. Zach Arvengel G Fistbump. So guys, for this video, I'll be using the T4744A5 by the Team Group team. This is a review item that was sent to me by Team Group, but I'm not paid to give any bias review. So anything that I might say in this video is from my own thoughts. Thank you Team Group for providing the review unit and YouTuber JC Kaloy for referring me to do this review. If you're interested in getting this item, link of it will be in the description. To upgrade the PS5's SSD, you'll need a compatible M.2 SSD, a Philips number one screwdriver, and a flat surface to work on. Now why upgrade your SSD? Well, despite the increase of the PS5 slim storage to 1TB, only about 850GB of it is usable. Installing games takes space and it's the same amount whether you use a PS5 disc or install a digital copy of the game. Titles like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth needs around 145GB, NBA 2K consumes around 161GB, and Gran Turismo 7 needs around 199.5GB of free space to install. So expect the internal storage to fill up quickly. Installing a SSD adds more storage on top of the 1TB internal storage of the PS5 Slim. So if you add another 1TB, you basically get twice the storage. Now before I install the SSD, let me just show the needed SSD requirements when upgrading the PS5 storage. Based on the official PlayStation website, you'll need to have a PCI Express Gen 4x4 supported M.2 NVMe SSD. The recommended read speed is 5,500 megabytes per second or faster, and it supports from 250 gigabytes to 4 terabytes storage capacity. The T4744A5 is fortunately a PCIe Gen 4x4 M.2 SSD, but according to the specification, the read speed is up to 5,000 megabytes per second. It's not that much far off, and I've seen some recommendations on Reddit mentioning that 5,000 is already enough for a smooth and uninterrupted gaming experience on the PS5. So let's see if it's really good enough to use. Now when you upgrade the SSD on your PS5 Slim, Turn off the console and make sure that you remove all the wires plugged to the console. Don't make the mistake of doing this while plugged to a power source. Place the PS5 Slim on a flat surface and remove the upper back plate by lifting the cover up and away from the system. It's as if you're trying to pry the cover open. This process is a bit different from the original PS5 where you sort of slide off the cover when opening it. After taking off the upper back plate, Look for the SSD expansion bay and use the Philips number one screwdriver to remove the expansion bay cover. Just make sure to use the correct screwdriver so that you don't strip out the screw. Once you remove the expansion bay cover, remove the SSD mounting screw and the spacer, both of which are inside the expansion bay. Prepare the M.2 SSD. Place the spacer on the correct size of the SSD. Then slide in the M.2 SSD to the connector by inserting it at an angle. Just make sure that you lift up the SSD when connecting. After tilting down the SSD, re-secure the mounting screw so that the SSD lays flat and parallel to the console. Get the expansion bay cover, then screw it back as well. Finally, get the upper back plate and reattach this to your console. Align the cover correctly, making sure that it's lined to the proper slots. Then, snap it back in place. You're now done inserting the SSD. Let's now fire up the PS5. Once open, the console should now detect the SSD. Format the M.2 SSD to start using it. After the format, the SSD should now be completely installed, with the PS5 showing the SSD read speed. Congratulations! you now have more storage for your PS5 games. Now to see if it's working, let's do a demonstration and transfer a PS5 game from the internal storage, then transfer it to the M.2 SSD. Let's try it with a 78GB game, Tekken 8. This took around 35 seconds. Next, let's try Horizon Forbidden West with the Burning Shores DLC. This is 117GB.
Overall, this took 48 seconds. Not bad, that's already quite fast. This just shows that a 5000 megabyte per second M.2 SSD works. And that's it. Overall, the T4744A5 M.2 SSD by Team Group is a viable SSD for the PS5. It's working and it's fast enough for you to enjoy PS5 games installed in the M.2 SSD. What do you guys think? Let's talk about it in the comments down below. And with that, I think we're done. If you found this video helpful, interesting, or entertaining, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Then hit on that notification bell for more video game related content just like this. Again, I'm Zach and this is GG Fist Mom.